Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we are looking at addition and subtraction equations. We are going to do something called isolating a variable and then we are going to solve for variables. And that is it. Let's get into today's lesson. First off, solving equations is something that's used a lot in pre-algebra and eighth grade math and algebra one. These principles that I'm going to show you, if you follow all of the steps, you'll be able to use them in all of those math classes. If, however, you go to shortcuts, some shortcuts will work, some shortcuts won't. If you follow these steps, you'll be able to solve just about every equation. So I highly encourage you to write down these steps as we go through and they will work out for you. Let's get started. I'm going to solve this question here, negative 14 plus n is equal to 15. And I'm going to color code all of the steps. Number one is to find your variable. The variable is the letter, so in this case, it's the letter n. No problem. Step number two, look for what is connected to that variable. In this case, I've got a negative 14 that's connected to that variable. Then we do the inverse of whatever's connected. So in this case, I have negative 14 connected to it. The inverse means the opposite. So I'm going to kind of space out this equation here. Notice I haven't changed anything. I'm just spacing it out a bit. And I'm going to put the inverse or the opposite of negative 14 in there, positive 14. What this does is called isolating my variable. I'm going to get n all by itself. If I have negative 14 plus 14, I'll end up with 0. So I just end up with n on the left side of the equal sign. But the thing with doing this is you can't just add 14 to one side of the, of the equation. You have to add it to both sides. So that step three is that you do the inverse operation to both sides of the equation. That gets your n by itself, right? Because we talked about negative 14, positive 14. They basically cancel each other out. They give you zero, so they're gone. And then we have 15 plus 14. My next step is just to solve and simplify. So the first three steps help us to isolate our variable. And the fourth step is to solve for the variable. And again, these steps may seem more complex, but trust me, when the equations become harder, you can still follow these same steps and you'll still get the same answer. Let's do some practice. n plus 5 is equal to negative 12. We're going to go through the steps. Find the variable, n. What's connected to it? Plus 5. I'm going to do the inverse which is minus five. So notice the plus five minus five will give you zero and you'll just have n by itself. But I have to do minus five to both sides of that equation. So I end up with n is equal to negative 12 minus five or negative 12 plus negative five. I like writing it this way. You could leave it as negative 12 minus five if you prefer, totally up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and add those numbers together for n is equal to negative 17. Now I've got one for you to try. n plus negative 2 is equal to 17. Pause the video, try that one out. 3, 2, 1, go! Hey, welcome back. Try that out. Follow those steps. What's my variable? n. What's connected to it? Plus negative 2. I'm going to do the inverse of that. Let's give ourselves some space. The inverse or the opposite of plus negative 2 would be minus negative 2. And I do that to both sides of the equation. Now, minus negative 2, first off, on the left side, I don't have to worry about what that means. I'm doing the inverse operation, so those two are both going to disappear. All right? The plus negative 2, minus negative 2, they cancel each other out, they're gone. But I'm left with n by itself on the left. And on the right, I have 17 minus negative 2. I can rewrite that as 17 plus 2. Watch this. I'm going to magically make that the right number. Bam, there you are. Ha ha, I fixed it. All right, that was definitely a typo, but it's fixed now. And we have solve and simplify. n is equal to 19. Now what I'd like us to do is to look at a subtraction equation. 
try this one out, give it a shot. If you're not comfortable with it, definitely come back to the recording and I'll show you how to solve this step by step. Go. All right, I'm going to follow the same steps. Find my variable. What is it? What's the, the variable inside of that equation? It's n, all right? Any letter inside of an equation is the variable. What's it connected to? Minus negative four. The inverse of minus negative four, let's shift that over, is plus negative four. So I'm going to add negative four to both sides of that equation to keep it balanced and then simplify a little bit. I simplify on the left first just because it's easy. Minus negative four plus negative four, they're opposites or inverse, so therefore I get rid of them. They Technically I don't get rid of them, I add them together to get zero and then n plus zero is equal to n. But anyway, let's look here. I simplified 10 plus negative four to being 10 minus four, and now I'm just going to solve that. And that's it. So n is equal to six. I've got another question here. n minus 13 is equal to 27. We're gonna follow exactly the same steps. Find the variable, go ahead, touch the screen. Where's the variable? Put a fingerprint on it right there on that letter n. What is it connected to? Negative 13. What's the opposite or the inverse of negative 13? Well, plus 13. So I do that to both sides of this equation. That gives me n is equal to 27 plus 13. Solve and simplify, 27 plus 13 is 40. And that's how you solve these ones. If you follow these same four steps, Equations will become more complicated, and if you have these steps set, you're going to do fine. A couple of things to keep in mind. Don't skip the steps, and if you want to talk about taking shortcuts, um, let's check with Little Red Riding Hood and ask how that turned out for her. All right, I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.